What's going on people and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Illustrator's latest update, taking a look at the intertwine tool. If you haven't updated to the latest version of Adobe Illustrator yet, pause the video quickly. I'm not going anywhere. Go and update it and come back once you're done because I'm about to take you guys through exactly how this tool works. You might find it useful to run through some of the things that I'm going to be showing you just to see exactly how easy it is to use. So let's jump into Illustrator, see how this new tool works and exactly what we can use it for. So I'm just going to start things off by working with a couple of circles. So I'm going to get the ellipse tool, drag a circle on the canvas, and then I'm going to make a copy of it by holding Alt and Shift and dragging it off to the side. Change the color of it to make sure that it's not the same color as the other circle. And then what I'm going to do is just select both of these objects, make the stroke a tad thicker and just change these so they're overlapping a little bit more. I can then select both of these to intertwine them, go to object, intertwine, make, and then select the area that I want to intertwine. Once I've done that, you'll notice that now the gold circle intertwines in that specific area. And what's good about this is that it's not destructive at all. So if I go into object, intertwine and release, you'll notice that these objects are still intact and they're exactly like they were in their original state. Whilst I've got one of these circles selected, I'm just gonna go over to window appearance because I wanna try something out, see if we can get something going. So I'm gonna create a new stroke by clicking on this box to the left. I'm gonna make sure it's the white background color and then I'm just gonna increase the weight so that it's larger than this orange stroke I've got going on. Now I'm going to select them both, go to Object, Intertwine and Make, select a section that I want to be intertwined. And as you can see, because we've added that white stroke in there, we've got this illusion that there's a cut as well, which is really interesting. And to increase the size of this, I can just double click on the circle, go back over to my stroke, increase the weight, and it creates more of a gap between these two sections. So it's a nice new way to create this sort of illusion whilst in a non-destructive way. Now let's try out a couple of different shapes. So we'll bring in a square into the canvas. Um, we'll just change the color of it quickly because we don't want it to be the same as everything else. And just going to decrease the size of this stroke as well because it's massive. And then what we're going to do is drag a circle onto the canvas as well because my aim here is to just have a few shapes going on, see how this tool works and whether it can kind of cope with having a couple of different shapes and also more than two shapes as well, just out of interest. So I'm gonna put another square onto here because I want the two squares to intersect, but I also want this circle to intersect with the squares. And I'm just gonna change the color of these to make sure that they each stand out on their own. And then once I've done that, we can try out and see if we can intertwine everything together. So now that we're done, I'm gonna select everything quickly, and then I'm gonna go up to object, intertwine, make, and then select the sections that I want. So this one up here, I'm also gonna do the same on the other side for a bit of symmetry. And then I'm gonna see if this square in the section can intertwine with each other. So I'm gonna select this portion at the bottom, and then we'll see how this looks. So as you can see, not only can you have different shapes intertwining, you can also have more than one shape. So I think the possibilities with this are pretty much endless, which is awesome. So what I want to try out now, instead of using objects, is see if we can use this same technique with text. So I'm just going to make a text box here and put in a P, just a random letter. Just make it a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. And then I'm going to change the font of this maybe to something a little bit funkier. Let's see what we've got. And this will do. And then what I'm going to do is just make a copy of this and change it to a letter D. And this might honestly be a little bit too funky. I'm trying to think, I don't think I can actually intertwine these. So let's just make them something simple like Montserrat. Montserrat is always a good go-to and I'm just going to position these so they're nice and overlapping and just in a way which kind of fits sort of uniform to each other. And once we've done that, I'm just going to select the colors again. And I think we're going to go with a couple of shades of blue this time. So nice light blue for the D and then maybe something a bit darker. So a darker shade of blue for the P. 
Now if we select these two and go back up to object, intertwine and make, I'll see if they both go together. And as you can see, not only does this work with shapes, it also works with text as well, which is really interesting. And as I mentioned before, this is a non-destructive way of doing things. So if I highlight the two and then rotate it, for example, you'll notice that that intertwine section is still kept intact. And we can also resize this as well. And again, you'll notice everything is retained. So this is so helpful. It should have been a tool that had been released a long time in Adobe Illustrator, I'll be completely honest. But now that we've got it, we've got to take advantage of it. So if you haven't already, go and update to the latest version of Adobe Illustrator. Check out this new intertwine tool and let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.